Hello everybody out there. This is Vagabond Zero and today I'm going to show you what I got in mail. So first up is um, um, I got a mini Robotech figure which is the from Metal Gear Solid 1 um, uh, what's his name? Gray Fox also known as the Cyborg Ninja. I've been wanting a figure of this guy since forever and uh, they did, uh, Play Arts Kai did take up one, but that thing kind of sold out pretty quickly, and now pretty much that guy sells for like close to $200, and I'm not going to pay for that. So uh, I was happy that actually, um, Roll the Robotech line got these, uh, got this guy. And of course this actually matches up with the, um, Middle Gear Solid 1 Solid Snake, which I uh, also got. So I got that guy. And also I ordered some new mugs now the other month I got the um, the Xeon mug which is kind of small for you know typical mug but these look like these look like um, they're pretty much um, normal or basic size so right here we got the PlayStation mug as you can see SPS logo Busty four buttons um, logos. The mug was um, eight hundred yen, so about like seven, seven or eight bucks. But they're sold out now, so you know if you want one um, on, get one from uh, HLJ. They're pretty much sold out. You can probably find it on another site, so maybe on eBay. <clears throat> The next one I got, which is another mug, so you can see right here, which is a um, Dreamcast mug. See right there, here's the um, Dreamcast logo, and on the back it has the uh, VMU, which is the virtual memory unit. I myself do have a Dreamcast. I remember when, it first came, uh, when the um, Dreamcast first came out. Big deal. So yeah, I got those. And I got some other stuff as well. I also got the the G Self um, Gundam Head Display Base, which comes with um, as part of the um, what do you call the Hobby Japan Mag. So yeah, I got that. I still don't have a uh, G Self kit, so I will get one, especially now that I see more of the different versions of it coming out. And this big guy right here, which is freaking huge. I didn't think this thing was actually big, but okay. so you can see right there from the name, it's the Blade Liger AB, the Leon version, which is the renewal, which is the re reissue. As you can see right there, I was pretty happy I got this guy because one, I do like the the Liger. And two, this is actually something pretty different, plus it's a limited kit, so... The thing already pretty much sold out pretty quickly. So yeah, I was pretty happy I was able to get one. I can't believe how big these kit, these, um... These, um, Zoids, um... HMM kits are. HMM or HEMM, I don't know what to call them. The, um, high-end uh, master models. 
which are pretty much the it Zoe kit to get. Now this is actually not my first Zoe, but this is actually my first high high end um, Zoe kit. I have um, beforehand bought um, three other Zoe kits from the store, which were pretty basic. So I'm pretty happy I got this guy. This, uh, the box is pretty much the size of a huge Master Grade, and it's and it's pretty damn heavy. So yeah, got that guy. Next up is an old kit, which is a Padalever Ingram kit. Now these are 160 scale, so they're kind of small, I think. I think they're kind of compared to a 144 scale um, Gundam kit. It seems that way. Now you do have to do a, a good amount of coloring because um, since it's an old kit, as you can see right here, so it's... 1989, so yeah. So you can see right there it says Padalera on meaning that this this design is based on the um, one from the TV series and not the movie. Now next up is a, a Royal Damashi figure. Which is the Wing Zero Custom. Now they did a reissue of this because um, I think it was this year or was last year. I think it was this year that um, at um, I, re I read that in San Diego Comic Con, uh, Tamashi Nations, which is the company that uh, pretty much released these, which is kind of like a side company to Bandai. Pretty much these are the guys that uh, make and release the. Um, the um, action figures. So they put a, uh, they put up a survey that at, at the uh, SDCC about which uh, which um, figure they they think they should reissue, and this is the one that most people picked. So yeah, I'm pretty happy they actually reissued this because beforehand the the thing uh, the figure the uh, first release figure cost and uh, went um, how much did they go for? I think they were going for like a hundred and twenty dollars. Like something around there, like over a hundred dollars, and that's that's pretty pricey. I mean, those are like um, the price of like those um, exclusive web uh, web uh, uh, web figures. So yeah, so I was happy I was able to get one of these guys because I already have a um, Mobile Suit in Action one from when they released them in the U.S. And plus, I also have an Arch uh, Arch Enemy um, Wing Zero um, figure. So yeah, this rounds out the um, figures of the uh, of Wing Zero Custom for me. Until they actually make a middle build. Once they make a middle build, I'm definitely going to get one of those. If it's based on the Wing Zero Custom. So yeah, I got that. Next up is another uh, Pedalera kit. This is what they call the Hell Diver, which is kind of a, a military type um, paddle labor. Um, and when I first saw this guy, it reminded me a lot of the um, what do you call it, the um, GM Sniper Two. And I know that the um, that the person who designed the paddle labor, and I think also designed a bunch of these other mechs from paddle labor series. Designed the um, Alex Gundam, and I think uh, probably the also, he also probably designed also the GM Sniper 2, which is why this guy looks kind of like the GM Sniper 2. So, yeah, got that guy. And this other guy, it's, um, I got this uh, robot, another robot damage figure, which is the Gundam, uh, what do you call it, um, Gym, uh, Gymnas, Gymnas, I think that's how you call it, Zero Run, uh, Zero One, of course. Now, this is a figure from, from a, from a manga, uh, based on the, um, Gundam Wing, um, universe, 
which is uh, called um, uh, Gundam Wing Sight, a dual side story um, G unit. This is the main uh, mobile suit. There's actually a second one that looks kind of like a. Um, it's the same model, except for it's um, kind of a, uh, has the blue coloring. It kind of looks like a, uh, a Mark II Titans color one. Which they will release as a figure, but it's going to be an exclusive. And it's going to come with a special pack that's called an Overboost. So I'm, I'm planning on getting that. But yeah, I got this guy because um, I once bought a. Uh, when I was little, I bought a, a kit of this guy. Which I didn't. Uh, at the time, Gundam wasn't even known. And I bought that guy, and um, I still have him since then. It's a bit of pieces, but he's still he's still pretty much together. So I was happy to be able to get this um, action figure. And of course, he comes with um, his basic his um, basic mode and his and his um, booster assault mode or whatever the hell it's called. And plus, that kind of reminds me of the strike and the L strike. So he's got that. Now next up is another pedal liver kit, of course another old one. This one was uh, this one was uh, released in um, '93. This is actually a sp uh, what they call a name grand special, which is um, if you ever saw the second movie, you remember the um, the um, Ingrams actually end up um, wearing body armor when they go into that one uh, underground base or sewer or whatever it was. So yeah, this is uh, this is the one that comes with the um, armor. <clears throat> I definitely like how it looks, uh, how the armor looks, uh, the uh, body armor looks on the uh, mech. Looks pretty cool. Oh yeah, plus I think you can still get these old um, paddle lever kits on um, the HLJ. Uh, HLJ. They're not that expensive. They're t um, this one's like two thousand yen. So it's pretty much the basic, uh, pretty much the same price as a typical high grade um, gun kit. Next up is a, another pedal lever kit. This is actually the uh, Type Zero, the infamous uh, mech, uh, which was a prototype that was shown in um, in the uh, first pedal lever movie. I definitely dig the um, the design of this kit. I remember when it went rampage because of the uh, of that one um, computer virus or whatever it's called. So yeah, I got that and. Last but not least, a what they call a Alphonse special one, special kit. So yeah, oh yeah. Plus the um, this kit does come with a little, a little, a uh, little um, mobile police cart uh, uh, vehicle, whatever it's called. It all comes with that too. So you know, so you can recreate a little scene from it. You know, build a. If you have the skills build a little diorama and everything. Of course these older kits do need paint, so I don't mind that. I'm used to building the old uh, old kits. So that's it for the um for what I got in the mail, it's a little bit long because I needed um uh, there's a lot of stuff, especially the big um, um uh, Zoid Liger kit. So you know you can find this stuff on uh, HLJ, so you know you can still find some of this and other stuff uh, but not all of it there. So it's pretty much sold out like the um, uh, like the um, lager. So I guess I'll catch you guys later and keep on building those Gundams and any other type of kits. Bye.